I was sexually harassed by my brother. I, F30, was sexually harassed when I was a teenager 14 to 15 year by my older brother who is about 13 years older than me. It all happened so fast but I remember how I managed to push him away and run away. Only to have him follow me and ask me what's wrong, playing dumb, the fucking creep. I didn't tell anyone about this. It tormented me my whole life. I became distant from all of my family. I was depressed most of my life and shut myself in. Kept telling myself that I'm strong and that I wouldn't let a piece of shit like him ruin my life or my perspective on life and men in general. I was wrong. All of my relationships were so toxic and fucked up I just gave up on finding a partner. And seeing a therapist isn't an option in my country, huge stigma. I chose to keep what happened a secret even though deep inside I felt being let down by my family when I saw them treat him normally especially my mom. I know I shouldn't blame anyone since they were oblivious to what happened but it's how I felt. It became the norm for me to feel like this. I was living in contradictions all of my life since day one. I also was worried about my mother if she found out it would break her heart. She was abused by my father and lived a hellish life but endured it all for our sake. I didn't want to add to her burden or see her sad. I was so young after all I didn't know any better. And when I grew up I thought it was too late to even bring it up. After some years he went abroad to study for 7 years and that was a healing time for me. I started to mend my relationship with my family and my mom. I had a job and lived in a different city but kept in touch with my mom and visited her weekly. Life was so much better once I stopped seeing him around. Out of sight out of mind as they say. Fast forward to the whole covid shenanigans. I was working at home, online, so I moved back to live with my mom. And he too had to come back to our country, and there was no Nowhere else for him to go so he lived with us the whole covid lockdown time. It was like I was back to square one. Every day he was here. I hated my life and how he acts around me like nothing happened. I never talk to him or address his existence and if anyone asks why, I give the impression that we had a fall off. He was a piece of shit and no one genuinely liked him and when I was younger we used to argue and fight all the time so it was only natural for us to not be on speaking terms. Anyway me living through this this hell had me skipping family reunions and meals just because he's there. I couldn't bear looking him in the eye without remembering what he did. I relapsed. Then something happened. Apparently he had a go at our housemaid and she told us he kept offering her money in exchange of sex and she kept refusing but he wouldn't back off. She was scared and decided to stop working for us this happened yesterday. My mom was kinda skeptical as any mother would be giving this came out of nowhere. But I just couldn't sit still. All this situation made me so emotional and I was panicking because my mom noticed my reaction and was asking me if something happened. I eventually gave up and told her everything. She was so shocked and I honestly wished I didn't say anything. Even though she assured me she'll deal with it and kick him out of the house I saw the pain in her eyes. Her health is poor I'm worried something will happen to her. This literally happened a few hours ago. I stayed by her side until she calmed down and went to bed. I don't know if what I did was right or wrong. I kept downgrading what happened as, it happened a long time ago, I stopped him before he did anything, I'm not afraid of him, etc. But I don't think she bought it. He was a grown man and I was a child after all. I don't want her to blame herself. I don't want her to be sad. I really honestly don't know what to do. How should I approach this? What's the right thing to do? This is all too much it's like a sudden change to the very core of my life and I don't know what to do. TL, doctor I was sexually harassed by my older brother and I had to live with it 15 years without telling anyone about it until recently I finally told my mother whom I'm now worried about her reaction towards all of this. I don't know if what I did was right or wrong. It was right. You are a victim, he is an assaulter, creep, his behavior is not your fault. Do not rationalize his actions, and know that what you did to stop him and escape was very brave. Your mom is a parent, and a human being with a conscience and sense of right and wrong, and she will do what is necessary and what is moral to correct your brother's behavior. He needs to learn, he needs to suffer the consequences of his actions, or else he will hurt more victims. Your brother must be corrected. It's not punishment, it's correction. Don't let him hurt more women out there. 
telling her was the right thing to do. It's not just your burden to carry. You tried keeping it to yourself and that hasn't been good for you. At least she can confront him or keep him away and now she might understand your behavior for the past 15 years. You've done the right thing in telling your mother, and she does need to kick him out. Clearly didn't change or become a better person, so he needs to be out your life for good. Can you get a therapist from elsewhere, where therapy isn't such a stigma? It might be worth seeing if you could find an online therapist from another country who can help you deal with all this. Whatever your mother is feeling, that is down to your brother's actions, not yours. He evidently has a history of harassing women. If it hadn't been you and the housemaid who came forward, it's very possible that your mother would have found out about his predation some other way. Well not telling her wasn't working so well for you and being able to get the story out is part of healing. Things may be strained or confusing while everything is dealt with but in the long run revealing the truth I think always feels better. Dad disrespected my privacy. I, 18F, was sitting on my bed topless when my door started being opened by my dad. I live with my dad. I shouted that I don't have a bra on but he came in anyway. He immediately looked at my boobs which I then covered with my hands and he said don't be so shy it's just me then he told me that he's leaving for the day and walked out of my room. He has never done this before. It made me really uncomfortable. I didn't like him coming in after I told him I was not wearing a bra. I did not like him looking at me and talking to me when I was topless. I did not like him telling me to not be shy. How should I discuss this with him? Too long didn't read, my father barged in on me when I was topless and I told him I was topless to talk to me. People getting real caught up that she didn't explicitly say don't come in but rather that she wasn't wearing a bra. 1. I feel like it's pretty obvious contextually that means to not just keep barging in. 2. That totally ignores the rest of the interaction. He looked at her and told her that it wasn't necessary to cover herself and she felt really uncomfortable. To get caught up on her word choice at the very beginning draws away focus from the whole interaction. Op, I'm so sorry this happened, you probably feel pretty violated in terms of privacy and uncomfortable and it's totally understandable and I'm sorry. If you're up to it, I suggest talking to him about it and saying that it made you feel really uncomfortable and you don't want something like that to happen in the future. God, that's weird and creepy. I'm so sorry, Op. Imma man and my dad used to pull this shit on me as well, slapping my ass when I was a teenager it felt super freaking weird for him it was legit just a way of showing affection, but it did really change our relationship cause I felt weirded out by it. You need to talk to him and freaking set boundaries. Ick from my dad's perspective it was like nothing I haven't seen before when seeing me naked. But to me there is a huge difference between seeing a baby's dick when you're caring for it versus a young adult slash grown ass man's dick when you're just walking into the shower to grab something. It took him a long time to understand my perspective. I lived with my grandparents briefly when I was 22 and found that they did the same thing, they would knock and sort of barge in, not apologize and be annoyed if I tried to bring it up. I started changing right in front of my bedroom door. The door opened inward so it would be blocked and I would say I'm changing and close the door. After doing this a few times they stopped and waited for me to say come in. My mom was similar. I couldn't even have the door somewhat closed because sometimes I would catch her peeking in. I found it highly disrespectful and not acknowledging that I have a right to my privacy. Depending on your relationship w your dad you can def tell him, please stop coming into my room unannounced BC I could be changing. If he responds like before, you can say regardless of your thought about my body, it's mine, and you don't have a right to view it while I'm naked. If this doesn't shame him, then just block him or consider getting a lock for the door. 
As a single father I found this creepy as hell. First I think everyone should knock before coming into someone's private space. I hate that my daughters don't always, but I always do. It's just proper respect. Second that is a very weird and creepy reaction to seeing your daughter's breasts. I'd freak out and quickly turn around while apologizing if that happened to me. And I'd like to think my reaction is pretty normal. Personally if you need to live there because of money reasons I think you should just assume you won't have privacy so minimize time in compromised levels of undress. But if this keeps happen I would seriously consider moving out since you are an adult. Boyfriend wants me to praise him for the most basic things and I don't have patience for it. Too long didn't read. Boyfriend has broken my confidentiality before, and now wants praise, commendation for not doing so. Don't have patience for babying him. In the past, my, 32F, boyfriend, 49 meters, has broken my trust slash basic expectations by sharing very private and intimate health information with a couple of other people, one person in each case, without my permission, even once after promising he wouldn't share it. Now he finally understands how much it hurts me for my very personal info to be shared, and that that is something that cannot be done. However, now he wants praise for not oversharing. Case specifically, yesterday, I received word that one of my medical tests came back positive, and later in the day my partner wanted me to praise him slash commend him for not sharing my recent results from a medical test with his colleague. He said, I was tempted to turn towards Kay and tell her what you have, but then I held back. I don't have patience to praise him for this because it's so obvious to me that that would be inappropriate. He doesn't see it this way. Am I being unreasonable slash unkind here? I am happy that now he understands my boundaries and is willing to respect them, but I don't feel like commending him for it. Why does a 50 year old man need to be congratulated for not being an asshole? I am happy that now he understands my boundaries and is willing to respect them. But he doesn't respect them. If he respected your boundaries, it wouldn't even occur to him to cross them. Instead, he's traded crossing ops boundaries with getting praise and reward for not crossing ops boundaries. I also feel like there's a kind of underlying threat here. If you don't give me the attention I'm looking for, I'll get it by discussing your private matters with others. My, 32F, boyfriend, 49 meters. Oh, another one of these. Dudes his age aren't dating women your age because they're emotionally mature or well adjusted. The next time he does this tell him he's not a child and doesn't get praise for exercising basic human decency. Edit, up your post history is a disaster. It's time to shit or get off the pot. You've gotten the same advice about this guy over and over. Curious as to what it is about this man that makes faults like these worth wading through. You are not being unreasonable. He is 49 years old, and shouldn't be looking for praise or a reward for good behavior. I would probably let this go unless it keeps happening. Just make it clear that not sharing certain things per your request is the bare minimum in a relationship. Your post history has you complaining about him and questioning your age gap. Any threads and many responses. My question is, if you've asked this same question before a year ago, why haven't you followed any advice that was given a year ago? Isn't it strange that you have the same issues if not worse a year later and nothing has been solved? You know the answer. Do you really want to be taking care of this child, I mean adult, when he grows older? You'll be hitting your midlife and most likely you will be taking care of a 70 year old. And have to deal with the bullshit like this specific example. If he hasn't changed in a year, and has gotten worse, do you really want to sign your life up for this shit?